Lori and I do like everything together. We've been BFS since before I was even born. <sighs> if there's no Lori, who am I going to take magazine quizzes with? Or gossip with? What should I do? <laughs> you think I should fight Lori? <laughs> Ew, gross! <gasps> oh, I get it! I just need to show Lori that Fairway is actually terrible. And this campus tour is the perfect chance to do it. Lily, you're a genius. <laughs> Wait! Don't call anyone! This isn't their fault. This is on Ow! us. What do you mean? I didn't want to go to the dentist. And I didn't want to go to the doctor, so we... Kind of switched places. Kind of? Kind of. Totally? Actually, we've been doing it for a couple of days now to get out of all sorts of stuff. Your mother and I are not happy that you've been lying. No, we're not. You're not babies anymore, and sometimes you have to do things you don't necessarily like or want to. Like plucking nose hairs or visiting Aunt Ruth. Uh, but part of growing up is being responsible and doing those things. You're right. We're sorry. Miss V? I just wanted to tell you, I'm dropping out of the Royal Rumble. I know I'm never gonna make it as a rock star, so I'm done with music. I tease my jam now. It's a heck of a gig. Great job security, solid retirement plan. It's more practical. Well, wait, Luna, honey, you don't have to give up music completely. Lots of people play as a hobby. Hey, I know it's none of my biz, but that stuff in your yearbook made it seem like being a rock star was all you ever wanted. Are you bummed you didn't make it? Who says I didn't make it? I may not be playing a sold-out arenas, but I'm doing what I love. That's my definition of making it. Even if you have to live in a van? I mean, no offense, it's a sweet van. <laughs> I don't live in it, love. I got my own flat. What? <laughs> I only sleep in my van the night before a big gig. What is the <laughs> problem? It's just the eye doctor. The problem, Todd, is that I have an irrational phobia of the ophthalmologist. But that does not compute. You are a genius. I said it was irrational, Todd, and I've tried to train myself to move past it, but I can't. <laughs> now, just a puff of air. <laughs> Why don't you do the exam and make new glasses yourself? <gasps> Todd, you beautiful piece of robotic machinery. That's a great idea. Loud, your daughter won't stop crying. I turned off my hearing aid, but I can still hear. You gotta come home. Now, now, Mr. Grouse, no need to panic. It's just an easy fix, okay? Just speak to her with a British accent. Oh, yeah, I could do that. Or you could just get your butt back here. Then, then give it a try. Yeah, I'll, I'll guide you through it, okay? Cheerio! Jolly good, pit pit! This is ridiculous. Cheerio! Jolly good. I forget the rest. <laughs> There you go! You're a natural! Hello? Hello? Talk to me! Talk to me! I need to know what happened! <laughs> you okay, Lori? No. Ever since I started college, I feel like I'm missing out on everything with my siblings. <laughs> Wait, why are they all laughing? And why is Lenny covered in gravy? I have to know! You know what Coach Niblick says. You can't read the green unless you're on the green. <laughs> yeah, classic Niblick. Wait, what does it have to do with my problem? What I mean is, go home and spend time with your family, Lori. It's the weekend. <gasps> you're right. That's literally a great idea. Hey, who did this to my brand new golf cart? I'll turn out the lights. I'll lock the door. <laughs> <laughs> Check out those columns! Do you think they're real marble? Probably. This place is so much bigger than our school. Good thing they gave us maps. Uh huh? Guys, 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 stitch the maps. First rule of survival, don't act like a total noob. But we are noobs. <laughs> yeah, and if some upperclassman realizes that, he'll be a prime target for pranks. Like the kid who asked an eighth grader for directions on the first day of school. 
The poor fool got sent on a wild goose chase down in the tunnels under the school and didn't make it out until the whole day was over. <gasps> Don't be noobs. Okay, homeroom. There are no assigned seats, so it's time for rule number two. Don't get stuck with a crummy desk. Move out! Whoa. Oh, sorry. Please, it's all yours. I'd pull out the chair for you, but <clears throat> it's attached. Wrong. <laughs> hey, back off, pigtails. My buddy saw this first. <laughs> Boom, dominant. Nobody's messing with that. <laughs> Lenny! Luna turned my comedy club into a rock club! Do something! Lenny, do you know how to get blood? I mean, catch up off the ceiling. Lenny, <laughs> turn the movie off! What do you mean you're empty? Wait! Wait, don't go! <laughs> Can I have fiddlesticks? Miguel? Fiona? Hey, Lenny Boo. We're having a self-care day. You want to come with? Guys, I can't. I'm in charge at home and everybody needs something and I have no idea how to do anything and I'm totally hopeless. Hopeless? Um, I'm sorry. This does not sound like the Lenny Loud that we know and love. Yeah, we've seen you kill it at work all the time. You're a total boss. Just tap into that confidence at home. All you need to do is think of your family as customers that don't pay. Oh, I'm gosh. Thanks, guys. I know what to do now. You're both, like, geniuses. <laughs> Attention shoppers! I mean, siblings. Here's the deal. We're gonna wait in line and everyone's gonna get their turn, okay? <laughs> so how can I help you today, ma'am? Well, my concoction is currently corroding the living room floor. Hmm. We have some lovely water that would do a great job of stopping that burn. I don't know what to do. Paul Hoffner won't change my seat. Three words, bro. Water him up. Boy, he ain't wrong. One time, Virginia, she got her head stuck in a fence and we used a whole mess of margarine to get her out. The key is to rub it around the jowls, like so. Ugh. I meant he's got to charm the man. <laughs> I knew that. Just testing y'all. A while back, I wanted to go skydiving with my cousin Derek, but my dad wouldn't let me. So I spent the whole week doing nice things for him, and bam, check it. Ah! Hmm, maybe I should try buttering up the hoff. Huh? Oh, hey, Mr. B. I thought I'd come in before school started and help you kick off the day. I washed what I hope was marinara sauce off the board and organized your sword collection. I even fed Hank. What? No! He's only supposed to eat once a week! <laughs> I'd love to help you, but I have my own business to attend to. But dude, the auction ends in an hour. Come on, this is urge. Why do you need my help? You said it yourself, bro. You're the master of convincing. Please, I ain't too proud to beg. <sighs> okay, fine. Radical, so what's the plan? Are you gonna write me a speech? Do I get to wear the blue suit? No, no. The secret to convincing is to use your strengths. I'll say pit! You'll say stain! Pit! Stain! Pit! Stain! stain. Woohoo! Take the cash! The rent's getting the money for this crusty tea. Thank you, baby, bro, for helping me. <gasps> <sighs> Lenny, your sighing is literally ruining my texting. What's wrong? I don't know what to do. I feel torn between two groups of friends. How do I make them both happy? <clears throat> Lincoln, what do you want? I think I know how to help Lenny. When I started hanging out with Rusty and Zach, Clyde and Liam felt left out. So I invited everyone to hang out together and now we're all BFFs. So you're saying my friends should hang out with your friends? No, bring your friends together. Huh, that is surprisingly mature advice for an 11-year-old. Clyde. Oh, hey, Liz. Shh, shh, shh. I need your advice. Um, okay. What if I'm terrified of giving the wrong advice? Dr. Lopez says I tend to let my fear control me. Bingo. And that's exactly why I came to you. Let's say I had this friend, and this friend was super tough and awesome at everything, but she, or he, was afraid of just one thing. Lynn, no disrespect, but I don't have time for hypotheticals. How can I help you? 
Fine, here's the deal. I'm going to Dairyland tomorrow, and I don't want to ride Whip Scream because I'm terrified of throwing up. Blech. Lynn, no one likes to throw up. Yeah, but I hate it. I did it once when I was little, and it got all into my nose, and I tasted it for a week. Ugh, never again. So how do I beat this stupid fear and get on with my life? You can't beat it. You just need to live with it and be honest with your friends about it. Look them right in the eye and say, I am not comfortable with this situation. Hey, Lenny. Oh, sorry about the smell. I just dropped off Lynn's softball team. Phew, how was work? <sighs> Great. Miss Carmichael made me the temporary manager. Wow, you don't sound happy about it. No, I am. It's just Miguel and Fiona think Miss C is a zero fun drillster. I don't want them to feel that way about me. I want to do a good job and be a good friend. Is that even possible? Of course it is. Look, as long as you're getting the work done, you can be as fun a boss as you want. <gasps> wow, Lori, you know absolutely everything. <laughs> I literally do. Wait, what's a drillster? Maybe if your dad said something to distract them, they'd be less focused on you. Hey, look. Why don't you get them another pet? Liam's giving away baby chicks again. I don't know. My cats are born hunters. You should have seen what they did to my dad's bunny slippers. <laughs> but this could work. Clyde, watch your eyes. I've got the pressure cooker out. So I had an idea I wanted to run past you guys. How about we host a Brazilian exchange student? His name is Tiago, and he's in my grade. Wow, Clyde, what inspired this? I just thought it would be fun. Plus, I've always wanted to know more about Brazilian culture. Mm, I don't know. This is a big responsibility. And we wouldn't want to take time away from you. Psh, I've had your undivided love and support for 11 years. I can stand to share for a few weeks. Well, if you're sure. Great, because I already signed up. <gasps> that must be him. I got it. <laughs> Oi, I'm Chiago. Nice to meet you. Hi, Chiago. I'm Clyde. Oh, sorry, Clyde. I am a hugger. You two dads, get over here. Welcome. It's good to have you. These are gifts for you. Carnival costumes. We wear them to dance the samba. Maybe you guys can try these on and Tiago can show you a few steps. I'll leave you to it. 